my career. Sometimes I walked and sometimes I ran. I never, however, would crawl. But sometimes I felt like a juggler man dropping a midair ball. This next poem I'm going to read is called Mr. Bull's Query. And I wrote it after reading Paul Bull's wonderful book, The Sheltering Sky, which was more poetry than prose. And some of you might remember a movie uh, made uh, The Sheltering Sky about uh, 20 years ago. Mr. Bull's Query. In this gathering, we move, sit, or lie under that canopy, the sheltering sky, and to what destiny and what purposes are mingled in the dust of that dimming star, and where go the atoms when we die. This next poem is Insight, and I want to thank Oscar Wilde for giving me the insight to write this. Anyone who will marry, and there is no exception, will find it necessary to practice some deception. Mission impossible. The thought persistently nudges before positions harden that women should not be judges. Their mission is to pardon. Don't I wish when I meet a very beautiful woman, I invariably find their husbands are unusually successful and have a criminal mind. Think, think. Irrationality, I think, is a crime. So with women, I use logic only. And that is why, most of the time, I remain so goddamn lonely. These days, the thought for love is like a golf game. Both endeavors can drive you nuts. So when teeing off, watch where you aim and be careful of your putts. Hard to forget. And I want to thank Dorothy Parker, who wrote a similar poem around 70 years ago. Hard to forget. I lit a match to start a fire, to burn out ambition and hope. I also want it to scorch desire and watch my bridges go up in smoke. Ambition and hope were easy to burn up, and desire became a smoldering ember. But my burning bridges turn up in women who seem to remember. Addressing heaven when. I would like to finish my book, then take a clear, deep breath. And at the stars, another look. I want to enjoy my death. This next poem is called Merci, Dorothy. And it's another poem I'd like to dedicate to Dorothy Parker, who wrote something similar 80 years ago. He swore his love completely and undying. She whispered hers, embracing and sighing. On the wings of desire to the moon, they went flying. But down to earth they sank because both were lying. Discouragement. Every day brings new cares and worries seem to grow. They say God answers all prayers, but the answer is usually no. No Descartes in this corner. I spent my life without religious conviction. I refuted all that pious jargon. So don't spread any malicious fiction that I'm making a last minute bargain. My career. My career started out a cacophony of trumpets making a din, but now it's a tinny melody of a single mandolin. Minstrel. I'm a voice looking for a song. Something plaintive, something deep, but not for the chattering throng, but for the promises I didn't keep. 